Hi, New Hope Fertility family. It's Dr. Jen, Fertility Friends, and I'm here to talk to you today about checking your fertility at home. So everyone's at home more during this COVID-19 epidemic, and everyone's probably thinking about fertility and how they want to build their family with maybe some more time on their hands. Time and age is so important for fertility. It's not something that you can just put off and um, not everyone can say I'm going to delay a year or two. It's just not possible for everybody. So what can we do about it? Or if you're thinking of trying to conceive, how can you tell if your fertility is okay or not? One thing you can do is to make a telemedicine visit or a video consult with a fertility doctor and they can review your cycle length, how regular is your cycle. Fertility doctors really want to know all about your menstrual cycle. They want to know if it's painful or if the bleeding's heavy and we're really interested in how regular it is and the exact length of the cycle. So that would be if you're tracking your cycle. I know everyone has these menstrual apps now on their phones and so um, from day one of bleeding to the next day one of bleeding average is about 28 days um, you know 27 to 32 is definitely in a normal range if you're getting shorter than that 26 25 days that could be a sign of a hormone imbalance so this is something you can figure out at home and if your cycles longer like 35 37 40 days that's also a sign of another type of hormone imbalance so in that case you definitely want to reach out sooner to a fertility doctor but that's one way of assessing your fertility at home um, another way of doing that is with ovulation predictor kits which you can get um, in the pharmacy and this tests your urine for a hormone called LH that surges around ovulation. Because the egg can only be fertilized for 12 or 24 hours each month um, it's really important to get the timing of intercourse right when you're trying to get pregnant. So this is something you can do at home and you start testing your urine mid-cycle um, to make sure you're ovulating and also helps you time intercourse. Um, so that's another way to uh, check your fertility at home. Also, um, it's really important if you've been trying for a number of months, say it's usually six to 12 months if you're under age 35 or um, six months if you're over age 35. And if you're age 40, you kind of want to do all these things right away because your fertility, it's almost like a fertility emergency once you hit age 40 and we want to um, be really proactive at that stage. You want to start thinking about also checking your partner uh, if you've reached these milestones and not gotten pregnant. So you want to check your partner's semen analysis. I have heard there are some kits you can do at home and it gives you some idea of to make sure there's sperm and that it's moving. Um, but um, you may also want to consider at that point having your partner do a, a official semen analysis, a formal semen analysis, which we do in our office. We're open seven days a week to make this really convenient for folks and you can come in any day with an appointment and just get that checked to make sure we're not missing something on the partner side as well. All right, so these are some um, simple fertility checks you can do at home um, to assess your fertility during this COVID-19 time. So I hope you enjoyed this fertility tip from Dr. Jen, Fertility Friend. And if you have any questions, want to schedule a consultation, feel free to call in or DM me on Instagram and we'll be sure to get back to you.